Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, grandmas and grandpas, cats and dogs, aunties and uncles, welcome to Let's Play Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, Part 11 with Mr. Crazy Gamer 13. Okay, I'm sorry I had to end things off a little early right there, I was having some lag issues. Of course I'm coming- HEADSHOT! I, of course I could have made the part a little longer, by um... By... Uh, like um... Doing two separate captures, but I think we still might have some lag problems. But you know what? Never mind. But we're not having any at the moment. Like no major lag problems at the moment. That at the moment, though. So yeah, and we unlocked a new spell in Guardian Leviosa. Okay, so what this spell does, of course, it's the most famous Harry Potter spell ever. Lifts objects. And we can throw them at enemies. Pretty awesome, but this spell to me is useless. To be completely honest. Why didn't it hit him? Okay, I'm gonna put back to the spell, sir. And we earned a trophy, got it covered. Okay, right. No lag quit at the moment. Woohoo! Yeah, if we do have some more lag issues. Well, like, um, the reason I, um, ended the video early was because, like, it wasn't already nine minutes long and I wasn't, like, gonna have a. Uh, like, I didn't want to risk going over the 15 minute limit with two separate captures, so. Uh, yeah. Now we're gonna come around here. And there are the men around here. In case you can't tell by the screen. You can see them there. Okay, now they're not. Ah, uh, yeah. Right. Come this way. And over here. Ah. Uh, Yeah, I've gone back to Expulsor, by the way. Okay, there's no um, enemies here, so what we just have to do is we have to go back up. Right, sorry. Um, <laughs> we have to go up to this barrier. And look. How on earth did they get over there? Did they climb over it? Well, guess what? We can't climb over that barrier. You, you'd think we could, but no. What we have to do, we have to backtrack. Yes, you heard me. We have to go back. Not for, not like really far, but we have to go back and get the Confringo spell book. Because Confringo is the spell needed to get through, past the barrier. But... The good thing is, once we um, collect the Confringo spell book, we'll have earned every spell in the game, will we? Yeah, there's only one more spell we need to unlock, and that's Confringo, so, yeah. I was just checking the spell wheel to be sure. Of course, the. Um, my inventory is full, so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just keep going and. Destroy anything that gets in your way, so uh, yeah. What's the matter with you? Nothing. And why are you so grouchy? Huh. Okay, um. Okay, and that looked like. Okay, and we had a trophy. We had some lag that I was wondering. Because, um, we had some. Like, usually we've been on a trophy. I was gonna say that's it, that was in game, that lag. That moment there. Alright, um. Kill you, you die. Right, um, you die. You die. And you die. 
Ah, there we go. There you go. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, Hermione. Right, um, this way. Come over here. And... Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Found the Confringo Spellbook. You unlocked Confringo, the last boy in the entire game. And the most powerful one as well. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm still keeping an eye on my computer screen for lag and... Yeah. Oh, by the way, that's what Confringo does, and that should earn us a trophy. Pop up, please. Yep, one master. And, because I know there is a trophy for um, using every spell in the game successfully at least once. And one master is the name of the trophy, so yeah. Okay, so anyway, what you need to do here... Well, you don't need to aim, you can just... Well, I just aim for the sake of it. And... BOOM! Confringer! And sometimes if you cast it too close to yourself, you can actually... Um, fall over, so... Yeah. Oh, and this one is what I meant by Confringo and Expelliarmus being really useful. Yeah. This is what... That's how I usually get past one pin willow, so yeah. And, um... I'll, I'll use Confringo for this next one, but... Are you never mind. Just give me a minute. Why are you on the run, Britpook? Most wizards think goblins are on you-know-who's side. We take no sides. This is a wizard's war. Then why are you... here? Ringot is no longer under sole goblin control, and I recognize no wizarding master. Still, I had my school revenge before I left. Revenge? Death Eaters brought a sword to Gringotts for Severus Snape. The sword of Gryffindor. Only the sword is a fake. Gryffindor's sword is goblin made. It is a poor copy. It appears that there are some things even wizards don't know. I know a lot of people that will be happy to see Severus Snape punished. Come, it's time for us to move on. I fear we are not alone in this forest. I just saw lag. Like. Unfortunately, but anyway, um, you know what? I'll show off Expelliarmus on this on Pimula since we used Confringo for the other one. Oh, wait, um, we just had it there. There you go. See, expel your arms can be used to get past um on pumulas like that as well. Okay, I'm just gonna use stupid fire for the sake of it here. So take out these doxes so it's faster and quicker. Because stupid fire is definitely the most like fastest fire in the game. Actually, no, I'd say it's the second most fastest with the first, but with the fastest being expulsor. So yeah, and there's and the next pot watch password right there. And okay, we're gonna get a cutscene here. Gryffindor's sword. It's goblin made. So? So nothing damages it. It only takes in that which makes it stronger. Harry, you destroyed one Horcrux, right? Tom Riddle's diary. With the basilisk kind. When you stabbed the basilisk, the sword took in some of its venom. So the sword? The sword can destroy Horcruxes. Brilliant. But unless I've got it wrong, Gryffindor's sword is a fake. It's just like the Horcruxes. No one knows where the real sword is. Did you think we'd be finding a Horcrux every other day? You're supposed to be the one with the plan. You said we should do what Dumbledore wanted. Only Dumbledore didn't tell you anything, did he? Take off the locket, please, Ron. You wouldn't be talking like this if you hadn't been wearing it. Yeah, I would. And so would you if you were honest. Go home, then. If you're so unhappy, go home to mummy. Just leave the Horcrux. Ron! Stop! You staying? Or coming? Ron! No! Please! Well, 
we'd we better find somewhere to camp. We've got nowhere else to go, and maybe maybe Ron will come back. Sad. Ron has left us. But still we carry on. We have to backtrack now. Find somewhere to camp. So, yeah. We just need to backtrack. Okay, we're going to use Confringo on this tree again. Confringo! So yeah, Ron's left us, if you couldn't tell by that cutscene, so now we just need to go back and find some other camp. And the rest of this is just, um, yeah, it's just the same repetitive gameplay again, even though I like the gameplay. Like I said before, it would have been, this game would have been better if you could like, do lots of different stuff like mystery missions and stuff. Okay. Bringo! That was actually kind of sad to see Ron go there. But maybe he'll come back like Romani said. And I'm actually going to switch between spells here to be honest. You know, I'll, I'll just stick with Expulsor. Like I usually do. Right, you die. No, oh, come on, die. There we go. We can collect Doxy's eye again. Okay, get some gas. Aha! For you. And also, that trophy we earned during the cutscene was for collecting, was Potter Watch Wireless Listener. It's for. Collecting half of the Potter Watch passwords, so now we have half of the Potter Watch passwords. So uh, we're getting close to collecting all of them. So yeah, and we're just gonna continue on here. Continue our journey to finding somewhere, some place to camp. Sorry, <laughs> I could have said somewhere, but I just felt like in some place. Ah, that is frustrating, Harry. Come on, headshot, 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 yes! Oh, fail! Join me next time for Let's Play Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, Part 12.